On June 30th, SpaceX launched an additional 57 Starlink satellites. This ambitious project has many Chinese excited as it may lead to an information revolution in China. Chinese officials have been threatening citizens, saying that, quote unquote, if you use Starlink, your whole family will be laid off, endangering their livelihoods. In 2015, Elon Musk expressed concerns that his project may offend the Chinese government and that they may retaliate and destroy some or all of the satellites in low Earth orbit. But in December 2019, the United States Space Force was established with the goal of having a significant military presence in space. Could the U.S. Space Force protect the Starlink network and its operations over China? Welcome to China Observer. I'm Fox Canning. If successful, Starlink, an ambitious project, could make the World Wide Web truly worldwide. It is designed to transmit data to most, if not all, of the Northern Hemisphere. The network of low Earth orbit satellites would allow transmission of data at an unprecedented speed to both urban and, more importantly, rural populations. The project has attracted significant attention from the Chinese population. Why? Starlink can challenge the Great Firewall and ultimately pave the way for freedom of information in China. China has the least internet freedom in the world. Communist China uses the Great Firewall to control its people. In order to answer this question, first, we need to know how the internet works. Most internet connections we use today are established by a submarine fiber optic cable network. This network connects the servers and internet providers of different countries and regions across stretches of oceans and seas. Unlike a cable network, Starlink Mega Constellations operates in low Earth orbit, facilitating almost light speed data transfer in the space vacuum at an altitude of 550 kilometers. As it operates at low Earth orbit, the satellites need to move fast and a mass number is needed to maintain coverage. That is why SpaceX has applied for the launch of 42,000 satellites. By 2019, 12,000 have been approved and 540 have been launched. Starlink has enormous economic potential. In the stock market, a one millisecond delay could mean hundreds of millions of price change. Starlink will also break the limitation of simultaneous data transmission, allowing data to be transferred in gigabytes per second. In terms of cost, experts say the price for the U.S. to move from 4G to 5G would be roughly $15 billion on fiber optic cable alone, while the estimated cost of Starlink is only $10 billion. Technically, Starlink, if being a direct internet service provider itself, has possessed everything needed to bypass the Great Firewall. In China, Google, Facebook, YouTube, and many websites people can enjoy around the world have been blocked. This is called the Great Firewall Project. Other censorship programs, such as the Golden Shield, were started when the internet arrived in China in 1994. In 2000, the CCP established legislation to give power to specific departments to monitor the quote-unquote internet security and within years, the complexity and sophistication of the project intensified greatly. Western ideologies, especially political ideas on democracy, human rights, and freedom, and also contents that are harmful to Beijing's authority, such as the 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre, were constantly filtered and blocked in China. The project took a further step into mass surveillance on Chinese people. Many activists and human rights lawyers were arrested because of their online speech. The Great Firewall is a state machine that combines civil, business, government, and military layers to monitor the Chinese people. According to Chinese laws, Chinese companies are responsible for the content on their platforms. This has led tech companies to self-censor their content. China also employs a large army of internet commentators to manipulate public opinions and act like the internet police. Under such strict control, if Chinese citizens are able to access unfiltered information freely, the Chinese Communist Party's propaganda would soon become ineffective which threatens its power. The Chinese people's attempt to climb over the Great Firewall has never been stopped. When blocking foreign websites, China does it in three ways, active filtering, active probing, and proxy distribution. Common methods include blocking certain IP addresses, spoofing DNS servers by keyword-based filters, URL filtering, and attacking TCP. 
the usage of VPN became more and more common. Freegate is one of the most powerful proxy server softwares. It allows internet users from mainland China, North Korea, and other countries that have internet censorship to view websites freely. It is developed by Dynamic Internet Technology, a company run by a group of practitioners of Falun Gong, which has been brutally persecuted in China since 1999. According to the BBC, the blocking and anti-blocking technologies of both sides pursued each other in fierce competition. In 2006, several anti-blocking software formed the Global Internet Freedom Alliance, or GIFA, and gained the upper hand. For every dollar spent by the alliance, the Beijing authorities needed to spend hundreds in advance. It appears Beijing is very concerned about the potential of the satellite network. Since 2003, the CCP has banned Chinese people from installing satellite receivers. If caught with these receivers, they would face penalties of fines and even imprisonment. The Chinese authorities have conducted invasive searches to clean up private devices throughout the years. On June 24th, RFA reported that in the cities of Changchun, Hangzhou, Xining, and more, the government once again conducted a thorough cleanup of private satellite receivers. Beijing-owned media also threatened the Chinese people by political slogans like, quote-unquote, if you use Starlink, your whole family will be laid off. In January 2015, Elon Musk said in Seattle that in order to receive Starlink signals, a receiver is needed, which is said to be the size of a medium pizza box. By simply placing it outside, it will automatically track the satellite network and receive its signal. When asked of his plan with China, he said, quote, Obviously, any given country can say it's illegal to have a ground link, and from our standpoint, we could conceivably continue to broadcast. I mean, I'm hopeful that we can structure agreements with various countries to allow communication with their citizens, but it is on a country-by-country -country basis, unquote. He also mentioned that if they get upset with us, they can blow our satellites up, which wouldn't be good. Some have wondered, if Beijing rejects Starlink, would Chinese people be able to obtain a receiver? Starlink has not announced details on the format of satellite data, nor has there been a prototype receiver released. Would it be possible that devices such as smartphones will be able to receive satellite signals? Starlink network poses more challenges for China's internet censorship. In 2015, Elon Musk pondered whether China would blow up the satellites. In December 2019, the United States set up a new branch of their military called Space Force under the United States Space Force Act, part of the National Defense Authorization Act for 2020. Its mission includes the mandate to protect the interests of the United States in space. The United States is now doing what it needs to do to protect our assets in space and to ensure that space remains the heavens by which we not only protect America, but we sustain our economy, we sustain our commercial capabilities, we sustain Americans' way of life. China expert Jiang Feng said, quote, The obstacle to the U.S. holding China accountable for the epidemic this time is the Foreign Sovereign Immunity Law. Sanctions cannot be imposed on the Chinese Communist Party directly, but there is an exception. If the CCP launches terrorist attacks on American businesses, like taking down Musk's satellites, then you will no longer be protected by the law, and the U.S. will be able to mobilize the Space Force. The CCP has no chance of winning that way. As the China-U.S. relationship continues to deteriorate, China's access to critical technologies is becoming more and more restricted. China launched its last satellite of Beidou system on June 23rd in hopes of constructing its own satellite network as it is departing further away from the free world. It appears the CCP won't give up censoring its people and join the free world in the near future. The Chinese people's pursuit of a free internet will not stop. This is an ongoing fight for freedom, and supporting Chinese citizens is a choice that Elon Musk and his Starlink program will need to make. Thank you for watching China Observer. See you next time.